Hello friends and family and welcome to our boring meditation stuff for October 27th. Today I wanted to talk about autodidacts, uh, more specifically how um, when it comes to meditation everyone is tempted <laughs> uh, to become an autodidact. Um, I've made this recommendation very specifically uh, I, fairly regularly in these videos and then um, implicitly at the end of every video after a while I just started linking to um, instructions for installing uh, a qualified teacher's Anapana instructions on your phone, iPhone or Android both, so that you could follow those instructions. Um, it's interesting to me, I've uh, suggested to people before um, that they either take a Vipassana course, um, which is taught by a qualified teacher, or that um, sometimes uh, their kids, maybe particularly teenagers, um, can take uh, short Vipassana courses and younger kids can take Anapana courses um, over a weekend. And um, parents will often respond with, oh, I would rather have uh, I would rather learn on my own, or <laughs> I would rather have my kid learn on his or her own. Um, and it's very strange because I don't think most people would treat any other skill this way. So uh, when it comes to learning the piano, few parents just buy their child a piano and say, well, okay, now go to it. <laughs> I downloaded an app for you, learn the piano. Um, there's a reason that you go to piano lessons and there's a reason that it takes some time and it's because uh, pedagogy teaching uh, this is uh, a skill that the teacher um, herself or himself learns um, and then they employ that skill to actually teach students um, the skill that they then want to convey and for some reason and I don't quite understand the reason um, people seem to think that meditation is somehow different from other skills <laughs> you just quickly pick up an app or you read one book and then you sit down and start doing it when we would never think about computer programming that way we would never think about a musical instrument that way we wouldn't think about driving a car that way um, and meditation uh, is quite a bit more difficult than all of those other skills. Um, it's a lifelong pursuit and you will never, within the scope of your life, master it the way that you could say, well, um, you know, like this lady is more or less mastered driving. Like she's as good as a human being is gonna get at driving a car. Um, or this person has mastered the violin. Um, Nobody masters meditation, really. I mean, few and far between. Uh, exceptional um, circumstances and, uh, and learning. But those people learn from a teacher. And they haven't taught themselves meditation. Um, so I, I think I'm creating this video as sort of a warning, as sort of a, a cautionary tale of... Um, don't try to do this. Don't um, insist on um, this autodidact path for meditation um, because uh, above all other skills, it's a very silly thing to do. Um, especially when good meditation instruction is always free and um, always very willingly given by a loving teacher who really wants you to learn the technique because they see huge value in it and they want as many people to learn it as possible. So take advantage of those opportunities uh, if and when they are available to you. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and take care of yourselves with them. Um, so as always, take good care of yourselves in that way and in every other way and take good care of those around you, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.